Hello and welcome to the second part of Google Maps um, with autocomplete. So we stopped with uh, with this. Um, basically, we started autocomplete, um, and I said that autocomplete has two parts. The first one is the source part, and the second one is the select. The source is actually a function, and select is also a function. Source, um, basically, what it does is when we type in, um, say, a location. Um, say USA it gives this uh, it takes the data that is already entered um, in, into this text box and uh, process that data so that is what source um, is all about and when we select a particular um, say uh, a, a suggestion from Google Maps uh, when I click on that it gives um, the following so this is what uh, select does so the click function is actually handled by select now source basically uh, has two parameters. The first one is uh, is a request, and the second one is a response. Okay, and request and response. So we are actually making a request to Google Maps, and then we are getting the response over here. So we in order to make a request we actually need a, a service which is called geocode I mean I have previously um, talked about um, geocode so we are going to create a variable over here inside the initialize function and then we are going to type in new google dot map dot map oops map dot geocode okay now uh, I've al already created a variable called geocoder and uh, this variable is actually global since I've declared it uh, outside the function so and then I'm going to up update this variable geocoder with this um, object that is geocoder so basically what I have is a geocoder object um, which is global so using this global geocoder object I'm going to give a request to Google Maps and get the response out here so the way I'm going to give a request to Google Maps is something like this geocode dot geocode and uh, we'll be passing parameters so the first parameter is going to be address address and uh, the address will actually be um, will be the data that is present inside the request so the a request is actually an object so the value which holds or the key which holds the data that we enters over here is um, is called the term okay so request dot term will be this value that I entered over here so that value will be passed to geocode with the key of address okay now I'll be getting a f getting a, a, a response from Google which will be handled by a function and this function will have um, a, 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 a variable that is passed that is results so this uh, will be this result will hold the response that is um, given by Google geocoder so this um, will be uh, over here now uh, basically what we need is uh, this array or this variable um, and then it is with this response um, we are going to create the ULLIs for autocomplete so but right now what we have is a result variable which has a lot of information about this request dot term that is nothing but the value that I've entered here so I need to get the variable um, result then loop through all the um, key value pairs and get the desired uh, things and then transfer that uh, value into this particular variable so that is what we are going to do um, so the reason why I'm saying this is that it is with this response variable that autocomplete creates um, that uh, ULLI tags so if you don't understand what I'm talking about just um, follow with the code you will understand this okay so we are going to take this result and iterate it and then we are going to put this into this variable so I'm going to type in response okay and uh, I'm gonna take this variable and then iterate it 
so to iterate what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Google dollar maps and then I'm going to get this uh, results and then uh, write a function over here and uh, this function will have um, a value that is item okay so what this basically does is I'm going to take this uh, results and then I trade uh, each uh, key value pair inside result and assign it to this particular variable that is item and then from this item I can get um, the latitude longitude and other related things that I want and then um, assign it to this particular variable so to assign it to this particular variable what I do is return oops okay so we are returning item dot or we are returning certain parameters in item and uh, we'll get this inside this response okay so label is the first thing that we want to return item dot formatted underscore address if you're wondering uh, what this formatted address is the formatted address is actually when I type in U S so when I type in this suggestion I get this address over here so this address is the formatted address this is actually given by geocode so geocode gives this as formatted address the address the full name as formatted address the value is again going to be the same thing okay the value is what will be displayed over here when you select a particular thing so when I when I select this this is a value that has been displayed okay now the next thing is uh, latitude and this is going to be item dot geometry dot location dot lat Oops. and again I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here and instead of flat I'm gonna type in LNG that is longitude and um, change the key that is longitude okay I'll save this uh, we'll see what happens we'll save the page yeah there seems to be no errors so I'm gonna type in my hometown name I do have an error so geocode is not defined so I'll clear this um, I'll go back to Firefox the mistake that I've done is um, simply you know, made the spelling wrong so it should be geocode and I forgot to put it O. so we'll refresh the page we'll save it and refresh it and we'll I'll type in my hometown name and I get the suggestions over here so basically what uh, we have done is uh, the source part so I get all the suggestions so the next thing that I have to do is uh, make sure the 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 click part is also working so I need to write uh, modify this part so select is a function that will have two things the first thing is event the second thing is UI okay so events and UI uh, are the two things that are passed on to select so I'll get uh, the data regarding the value that I've selected over here from UI so so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to type in var location equals new google dot maps dot lat um, lng and then I'm going to type in ui dot um, item dot um, latitude okay and the next thing that I'm going to type in I'm just, I'll just copy this and then I'll paste it over here instead of latitude I'll be going for longitude okay I'll uh, close this line and the next thing that I'm going to do is create a marker so marker equals um, new google dot maps dot marker marker and then 
I'm going to pass certain parameters. The first parameter is going to be map, uh, the map object, which is obviously mapped, and the second parameter, draggable, um, which uh, which will tell Google Maps that I want um, to allow uh, my markers to be moved uh, by the user. So basically, what I have done is I have de just declared a marker. Now I have not placed that marker anywhere, so I'm going to place that marker. So marker dot set position. Okay, position, and then um, I'm going to pass a location over here. So I'll copy that location, and then I'll paste it over here. So I've uh, marked the, I've. Uh, I've I've uh, set the marker to particular this particular location. Now the next thing that I have to do is I have I have to you know place the uh, redefine the center of the map. So map dot set. Oops. Map. Oops. Map dot set center. Again, this should be this particular location. Yeah, so we'll save this. We'll go back to Firefox, refresh the page. Okay, now I'm gonna type in Kachin. I click on this and I have an error. We'll see what the error is. So Google Maps dot lat long is not a constructor. We'll close this. We'll go back to Firefox. See, I mean, my editor, and we'll see where we went wrong. Google dot maps dot lat log. Okay. Lat, L N G. I mean, if you remember, this is the same thing that we have we had already declared over here. So we'll just copy this. We'll come back over here, and uh, we'll just replace this over here. Okay. We'll save this, refresh Firefox. I uh, just I'm gonna type in my hometown. Click. Uh, I don't get the marker. So we'll see what the error. Google dot map dot marker is not a constructor. Okay, which means um, Google dot map dot marker. This is a mistake. M has to be capital. We'll save this, refresh the page. I uh, hope this time it works. Still no results. We'll save, go back and see where we went wrong. Okay. Okay. Marker map dot. Okay. Okay. We don't have. Uh, we don't have to uh, type in. Um, map dot marker it, it's simply marker dot set position we'll clear this we'll go back to firefox refresh the page we'll see if it is working Kuchin. yeah i got the marker over here so i'll also place um uh, i'll also search for a place um, near to my hometown um yeah that's it so there's a second marker now the next thing that I want to do is uh, I want to get this marker and then um, create input box over here and then get the latitude and longitude. So for that fun for that purpose, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a variable over here which is called string um, values. I mean um, this will hold um, the latitude and longitude. So input type equals text. And then value oops, equals value is going to be latitude. So I'll just copy this um, this latitude over here, and then I'll paste over here. Okay. So in order to paste it, I have to concatenate it with the existing um, string. So close the input box. Then I'll another open another input type equals text and then a uh, value equals I'll uh, copy the second part that is lo longitude and then I'll close this
okay I'll, I'll also put a br tag over here now uh, just to you know understand that this is a longitude I'll type in longitude and uh, over here I'm gonna type in latitude okay yeah and the next thing is um, I want to insert this string value okay I made a mistake over here it's not dollar it's war or variable I want to insert the string value inside a div which I've already created um, it's going to be div of ID value so I just going I'm just going to select that particular div so dollar pound hash value dot append and then inside append I'm going to give this value of string value so this is what is going to get appended into this uh, div ID of uh, value so I'll go back to Firefox, refresh the page. Okay, I'm gonna type in my hometown first. Okay, I got the latitude and longitude. Now I'm gonna type in another place near to my hometown. Okay, so this is again second latitude and longitude. So say if I want to type in Singapore. Okay, so this is it. Um, it will go to Singapore. So this is uh, the third place. Um, so I'm getting the latitude and longitude. Yeah, mm, so this is uh, the end of the tutorial. Um, I know this is kind of a tricky one. Um, there might be a lot of doubts. Um, please uh, put your doubts beneath uh, the video. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Have a great day. And do subscribe if you like my tutorials. Thank you.